Hey SKs, welcome to your phonics lesson of the day. Today to warm us up, we're gonna be looking at a video of a very, very famous rhyme, a little nursery rhyme that maybe you've heard before. And we're gonna see if we can find some of the rhymes inside the song, and we'll just enjoy a great rhyming story. So this rhyming story is called Hickory Dickory Duck. Ran up the clock, the clock struck one, and he came down. Hickory dickory duck, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick. Hickory dickory duck, two mice ran up the clock, the clock struck two, down they flew. Hickory dickory duck. enjoyed that video there were all kinds of rhymes in that video so for example uh, what kinds of things rhymed with clock right hickory dickory dock tick tock and clock those are three things that rhymed and those were all throughout the song tick tock tick tock hickory dickory dock and clock and then with every new number, there was a rhyme for that number. So um, when the clock struck two, down they flew. When the clock stuck, struck three, they did flee. When the clock struck four, they went down to the floor. When the clock struck five, they did dive. So we can see from this video that rhymes they just, they make the song so catchy and it, your brain loves catching rhyme patterns. So any song that has rhymes in it, we're bound to feel, you know, just moved by it. So rhymes are an incredibly important part of the English language and of any language. All right, let's go check out our lesson of the day now. We're on day two of our blends. Pardon me, day two of our word families. Make this a bit bigger and let's look into what we have. All right, so today we are continuing the word families ed, et, egg, and l, and we're doing the written sort today. So mom and dad or sister or brother, whoever is gonna be helping you read these words, they will be reading the word set on top, and you will have to put the word into the right category using your listening skills, and making sure you're putting them in the right place. So let's do one together. The one we'll do together, I'll read it out loud to you. Please. There. All right, the word I want you to put into a category, and I'll demonstrate, is the word smell. Smell. You can stretch it out, bubble gum. Sm, I hear a blend. Sm, sm, smell. L, 
L. Do you hear the word ending? I certainly do. So I would write it over here under the E-L-L -L word ending. So I heard a blend, if you remember. Sm, 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 L. Good. Don't forget all the words that have the L at the sound, the ones that I picked, these are gonna have two L's. Okay, so don't forget to put two L's at the end. Once you have put in all of these words, you can move on to activity number three. <clears throat> As always, I'm gonna read the questions out loud so you can solve the questions with me right now. If I'm going too fast, remember you can always pause my video and rewind it so you can get the question again. Number one, circle the pictures that have the same word family as pet. Remember how you find your word family? You find the vowel, then that and everything after it is your word family. So the word family for pet is pet. Circle the pictures that have the same word family as pet. Smell, net, or egg. Number two, write a word that rhymes with fret. Fret. Write your rhyming word here. Number three, which word has the same word family as meg? Meg. The options are met, led, or beg. And number four, we rode a sled in the snow. Which picture shows a word that rhymes with sled? Here we have a shell, a shed, or a leg. Circle the right picture. Once that is done, you will move on to activity number four. For this activity, you are writing down just the word family. So you're either gonna write ed, et, eg, or ell. -L. The pictures for today are bed, jet, leg, shell, beg, shed, net, sled, and bell. If you want to challenge yourselves, you can write the whole word, but you just have to write the word ending. Okay, SKs, that's all for phonics. So now is your time to keep on working and finish up your activities, and I'll see you for your next subject.